absolute superheroes today. I do not know what I would have done without them. They've cleared the block blockages to make channels for the water to go. How's it gone, girls? Okay, so Sue had this great <laughs> idea that if we dug some channels that led to the drains, that all the water then from the fields would run down the drains. And we've managed to clear five, and at the moment, it's all running from the field. So hopefully, if we have no more rain, tomorrow might be a better day. So this is where we are here. But you know, over the years, we've had so many battles. We've been doing this now for 15 years, me and Rod. And I've got two ladies here, after 15 years, here to help me. We have so few volunteers, don't we? Yeah. I mean, Amanda actually flew over when she heard about Rod going in hospital and I was on my own, she actually flew over, didn't she? Yeah, flew over on Monday, yeah. Didn't I? yeah, to come and help, you know. Um, and Sue's been an absolute superstar, she's been getting shopping for me and pig food and medications <laughs> and all sorts of things. And, you know, without these two ladies, I really don't know what I'd have done. Um, as I said, it seems crazy that after 15 years of doing this, we haven't got to a situation yet where we can do it without me and Rod physically getting involved. Though Rod can no longer get physically involved. And I'd actually also like to add, over the years I've been accused of holding horses, not re-humming them and all sorts of things. Well actually that is not the case. I am not, or we, the rescue centre, the foundation, because I don't own the foundation, I am the founder and at the moment I am the president. The foundation is its own entity. Rod and myself, we are actually volunteers as well. We are not allowed by Ocker, the governmental vet, to actually re-hum any of these animals. This is all what the farm licence was about to enable us to possibly move some on. But over the years, several people have accused us of hoarding animals. It isn't the case. Do you really think, you out there that have accused us of hoarding all these animals, that we really want to live like this with all these animals? I probably have three young horses that are fit and healthy that would be able to be rehomed and schooled. Um, they are the ones that I would love to find a really good home for. Most of the others, as you know, have got medical problems. I mean, today, you two girls have been helping me treat... Yeah, the horses with injuries. Injuries, problems with um, permanent damage, painkillers. I mean, Sue here helps with the barrier, and you know the difficulties now that we've got with a lot of them. I mean, these two horses, mother and daughter. Now, to somebody just looking at them, you might think, oh, wow, healthy horses. Well, actually, that's not the case. Um, they've both got neurological problems. The mum's got neurological problems. And little Jasmine, who was actually very young when she was rescued, also has neurological problems. They can't, they don't move properly. Jasmine, when she was young, actually it took us 18 months before we could actually get her in a position when she could get herself up. We used to have to get her up, but she still has problems, as many of these equines do here. They are not animals that are suitable to be rehomed. And obviously, this is all part of what we do and why we are here, and we are happy to do it. But we need funding. We need help. People like Amanda shouldn't feel compelled to leave her business in England and get on a plane and fly over here to help me. My husband Rod shouldn't have nearly killed himself building all these installations to take more horses from the police and the councils because there's nowhere else for them to go. We need funding. It's as simple as that. I am 66 I think at the moment. I'll be 67 this year or 68, I'm not sure. You know, I can't go on forever. I can't continue to do this seven days a week with relying on the kindness of people like Amanda here 
concerned, there has to be a sensible solution.